Hey guys, it's Madeline and I'm about to teach a 45 minute yoga class. So grab some water, grab your mat and join me back here in just a minute. started in just a minute. How is the volume of the music and of my voice for everybody? joining us, do grab a mat if you have one. If you're practicing on carpet, you may want some grippy socks. Um, I would not suggest practicing on hardwood without a mat. Uh, if you have a block uh, and you use that in your practice, then go ahead and grab those. Or uh, a towel if you want something to sit on. We're going to be doing some relaxing postures this evening. seated in easy posture on your mat. If you'd like to get a block and place it on your mat and take your seat there, or if you want to use a towel or a yoga blanket to help support you and take the pressure out of your lower back, that is fantastic. So come into easy posture. And we begin to check in with the breath. So roll the shoulders down the back body, away from the ears, elevate the chin, relax the muscles in the face, soften the gaze or close your eyes. Imagine one straight line from the crown of your head to the base of your spine. Draw the belly button in and up. Plant the hands in a relaxing and comfortable position. And begin to breathe. Inhaling through the nose for the count of four. Appreciating the pause at the top of the inhalation and exhaling through the mouth for the count of four.
stay here, breathing. Clear the mind. Allow yourself to relax. Feel the inflation of the belly as you breathe in through the nose. Imagine yourself breathing like a baby, expanding all of the belly, not breathing with the shoulders. Awesome. Flutter your eyelids open. Take one hand and tent the fingertips out to the side. Sweep the other arm up and over as you press into that palm, stretching through the side body. Bring the gaze up. Stretch and breathe. over the hips. Imagine a string drawing the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Fantastic. Tent the other set of fingertips out. Sweep the opposite arm up and over as you press into that palm. Big side body stretch. Gaze to the sky. Awesome, sweep back up to center. Stack head, heart, and hips. We draw the belly button in and up. Keep your core muscles engaged. Bow the head as you bring the chin to the chest. Long, beautiful stretch through the back of the neck. Breathe. Big cycle of breath here before we begin to tick tock the chin from shoulder to shoulder, sweeping the chin up to one shoulder, adjusting the stretch, swing the pendulum down across the chest and over to the opposite shoulder. Appreciate the stretch, take it as slowly as you would like, but continue to swing the chin across the chest like a pendulum and breathe. Awesome, keep breathing, inhaling through the nose. Powerful exhalations through the mouth. chin comes back to center, bring the head up, back to center, take a deep cycle of breath, awesome, bring the gaze to the sky, opening through the chest, the neck, 
Relax the muscles in your forehead. Breathe. One more big cycle of breath. And on the next exhale, the head comes back to center. Good job. Swing one hand up to the opposite temple. Bring that ear down towards the shoulder. Feel the stretch in the opposite side of the neck, so all the way through this side. Bring that arm away from the body. Relax the muscles of the face. Close the eyes. Wiggle into the stretch. Find your sweet spot. Deepen the breath. Turn the head back to center. Sweep the opposite hand up to the temple. Ear towards the shoulder. Wiggle into the stretch. Feel the stretch all the way through the neck. Remove the arm from the center of the body. And breathe. block and make your way into tabletop position. Take your time getting here. We have starfish fingers, elbows, face the thighs. Knees are underneath the hip points. For this posture, feet are flat and pressed into the earth. Engage the core by drawing the belly button in and up. Elongate the neck. Press the hands into the earth. The feet are pressed into the earth. Relax the muscles in your face and jaw. As we wake up the spine, we work in cat-cow. On the inhalation, look forward Drop the belly and arch the back. Relax the muscles in the forehead. Press all of the muscles in the abdominal wall into the earth. We have puppy hips. Breathe. Take a deep inhalation on the exhale. We round, chin comes to the chest, pelvis is tucked underneath the hip points, the core is drawn in and up, all of the muscles and skin of the back pressed towards the sky. 
relax the jaw and the throat and continue to breathe. On your next inhale, look up, drop the belly back into cow, open through the throat, facial muscles are relaxed, breathe. away from the earth, chin to the chest, and stay here working in cat-cow at your own pace, remembering to breathe as you drop the belly on the inhale, keeping the muscles throughout the face relaxed, the jaw is unclenched. Rounding on the exhale, tucking the pelvis underneath the hips. Just stay here and find your own flow. from side to side, shoulders bump back and forth towards the top of the mat, just wiggling out anything that feels good for your body, it's your practice, and most importantly, no one is watching you, so way to go. If you ever felt uncomfortable doing yoga, this should be your best practice ever. Awesome. Come back to center. Tuck the toes, take a deep inhalation, and on the exhale, Pike the hips as we move into downward facing dog. We press the heels towards the earth. We melt our crown and heart space towards the mat. Find outward rotation through your shoulders. Make wide spread of your fingers using all of your palm. Breathe. Awesome. Pedal it out here if you'd like to take your dog for a walk. Just rotate heels down one at a time. Waking up the calves, the hamstrings. Bring a little fire to our practice today. Shake the head no. Shake the head yes. Awesome. And ground through both heels for a moment. Relax the muscles in the face and the jaw. Breathe. Awesome. Walk your way into forward fold on your mat. Awesome job. I'm falling out here. All right. We're in forward fold. Feet are six to eight inches apart. We stay here, allowing the hamstrings to lengthen using the force of gravity to do that work for us. So if you have blocks, would like to use your blocks for support, please do so or bring the fingertips to the mat or ultimately the palms. Stretching out those hamstrings and we're breathing.
On an inhale, halfway lift, flat back, long, beautiful neck, make space between the ears and the shoulders. Feel the shift into the calf muscles. Breathe. Take a deep inhalation and on the exhale, soften and bow. Awesome. Find a slight bend in both knees as you pull the abdominal wall down to the tops of the thighs. Bring the hands to clasp at opposite elbows. And from here, we twist through ragdoll, waking up the glutes and the muscles of the lower back. Spread out the toes, ground through all four corners of the feet. Breathe. Awesome. Come back to center. Release the elbows. Bring the hands back to the blocks or the mat. Currently both knees are bent. We're going to straighten the right leg, keeping that left knee bent. Notice the shift through the back of the leg. If you're shaking here, deepen your breath. Sending lots of oxygen to that right hamstring. And if you'd like to progress, peel those right toes up to the sky. So toes come up towards your smiling face. If your face is not smiling, please do so now. We need to release all of the endorphins we can muster. Soften the muscles of the face. Feel free to close your eyes in this posture. Clear the mind. Deepen the breath, just sending all of that oxygen to that hamstring. Awesome. Drop those right toes down. Bend the right knee. Abdominal wall comes back onto the tops of the thighs if it has left. From here, we straighten the left knee, keeping that right knee bent. Send the oxygen to that left hamstring. Deepen the breath. And if you would like to progress, it is time to peel the left toes up to the sky. Another 30 seconds. Make sure you're not clenching the uh, toes on the right foot. You want to keep those spread out for a good base. Breathe. 
awesome. Find buoyancy in both knees, a little bounce in the knees. Clench the fists, belly button in and up. As we knock on heaven's door, we are twisting through the waist, soft bend in the knees, relaxed gaze, easy muscles in the face. Don't go giving yourself some yoga wrinkles. Nobody needs that. Breathe. to work in tree. We'll spread out all four corners of the foot. So imagine grounding your entire foot into the mat. We're going to do one side and then the other, Yogi's Choice. So you just do whichever side works for you best. Feel the energy drawing up through the foot, the kneecap, the quadricep. We want your core to be engaged in, up, elevated. And you're going to lift the opposite leg up and plant the foot at the knee. You can then plant the arms up, palms, yogi's choice. Stand here, balance and breathe. If you step out, just step back in. No one even saw you do that. I'm gonna make myself fall over. <laughs> and I did. Come up and in. Now I can't. I'm coming off the mat. So if your mat is making you fall over, no worries. Come off your mat. Find your center, plant the palms. Step it out, give some love and some oxygen and some blood flow back to that foot. Maybe roll the ankle a little bit to help it out. Fantastic. If you'd like to use a chair, a wall, anything that you have around you to assist with balance, do so. You don't want any yogi injuries. 
So ground through the opposite foot. And remember, every side's gonna be different. So if you're not really balancing on the left side today, no worries, you'll get there eventually. All right, ground through that opposite foot, spread it out, all four corners of the foot into the earth. Draw the energy up through the leg, tighten the quadricep, core in, belly button up, opposite leg, in and up. Plant it, press them together, plant your hands, breathe. Chaturanga. Drop the belly, 
slowly and with control. Awesome. As hips, thighs, knees, and then tops of the feet come to the earth, elbows come into the side. Carve a line with the nose as we go up into upward facing dog. Breathe, relax the muscles in the face. Tuck the toes and on your next exhale, pike the hips, downward facing dog. We are back. Make sure that you have outward rotation in the shoulders. We've got starfish fingers. They're spread out really, really wide. Pedal your dog out if you would like to. Or ground the heels towards the earth. Shake out the head and the neck. Awesome. Press that right heel towards the earth. Elevate your left leg. Three-legged dog. All right. We're going to pull the knee into the chest as we roll the upper body into plank. Awesome. Kick it back up. Good job. We're going to roll that left knee to the left elbow. Kick it up and return to downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Walk your way into forward fold. Awesome. We've got a little bit more on that left side. So we're staying in forward fold, stretching out those hamstrings. Take an inhalation and halfway lift to flat back. I can't hear you breathing. Inhale, exhale, fold it down. Awesome. One more time, we ground through the left foot. Fingertips on the block or mat for balance. Step that right foot back. Sweep up for crescent. All right, we're up here holding that beach ball overhead, looking at the gaze, hips are squared off, left knee is tracking over the left ankle. Hold it, you're doing great. And come up to the top, squat into chair. Press back, back, back. Sink a little deeper. And come up. Rain it down. Awesome. Way to go. Second verse. Same as the first. Other side. All right. We're going to scoop up breath. Palms come up to kiss. We swan dive forward. Forward fold. Awesome. On the inhale, halfway lift to flat back. Crown of the head towards the top of the mat. Deep inhalation. On the exhale, bow. From here, we ground through the right foot. We step the left foot way back. Knee is tracking over ankle on the right side. Awesome. From here, we drop the left knee to the earth. Slowly walk yourself back as you peel the right toes off of your mat and move into your fold. Stretch. 
Awesome. Walk the hands up. Return the right foot to the earth. Tuck the left toes. Take the left knee off of the mat. Plant your palms. Bring your right foot back to meet the left. We're back in our plank. Core is engaged. Facial muscles are relaxed. We're powerful. We're breathing. We're strong. Awesome. Take an inhalation and on the exhale, chaturanga, drop the belly. Slow, slow, slow. Awesome. We land belly, thighs, knees, tops of the feet, press into the earth, elbows into the side. Carve that line with your nose, press into your upward facing dog, unfurrow your brow, breathe. Take a deep inhalation, tuck the toes, pipe the hips back to downward facing dog. Find your outward rotation through the shoulders, shake out the head and the neck. Ground through that left foot, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Roll forward, bring that knee into the chest. Kick it up. All right, this time the right knee goes to the right elbow. Kick it up. And back to three-legged dog. Good job. Walk your way back to forward fold. Closer now than we've been all day. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Ground through that right foot, step the left foot back. Right knee is tracking over the right ankle. Sweep it up into crescent. Hold that beach ball, chin is up, forehead unfurrowed. Awesome, step that left foot up to meet the right, push back into chair. Allow your toes to fall outward. Walk your shoulder blades out from underneath you. Take a moment to get your hips situated and take any pressure out of your lower back. As the feet and the knees fall open, close your eyes. Grab the chalkboard eraser and erase all of the thoughts on the chalkboard of your mind. Once you're comfortable and your mind is clear, this is a time to find stillness, peace, Clarity. The 
only movement in your body should be the flow of oxygen into first the chest and then the lungs and then the belly and then notice how the exhalation is the flow of oxygen from the belly, the lungs, and then the chest. your toes, wiggle your fingertips, flutter your eyelids open, roll over onto your side and into the fetal position, using your lower arm as a pillow, to a comfortable seat of your choice. Bring your hands to heart center and bow your head. Thank you for taking this time to practice with me today. May you go out into the world sharing peace, light, and love with everyone from six feet apart. Namaste. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I'll see you later.